Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are going to be looking at the 2018 free response questions from AP Calculus AB exam. So let's see, I have my thing all messed up. Okay, so people enter a line for an escalator at a rate modeled by the function given by this. Oh, let me pull up my calculator. I'm going to need that for the calculator portion of the exam. Um, where R of T is measured in people per second and T is measured in seconds. As people get in the escalator, they exit the line at a constant rate of 0.7 persons per second, and there are 20 people in line at time T equals zero. Uh, okay, how many people enter the line for the escalator during the time? So for A, the people that enter in the line is the sum of the people by the rate that they're entering in. So I'm going to do the integral from zero to 300, 44, t over 100 cubed, 1 minus t over 300 to the seventh dt. Okay, and I'm just going to use my calculator to calculate that, that integral. 44 times x divided by 100. Uh, do, 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 x3 times 1 minus x divided by 300 power to the seventh. Okay, and I'm integrating over x, and I'm integrating from 0 to 300. Okay, so this ended up being uh, 270, 1, 2, 3. Wow, such a neat number, is that right? Uh, oh, yeah, the, uh, I messed up. should have been 100 270 that might make more sense let me double check and 270 people x cubed 1 minus x over 307 yep okay that looks fine during the time 0 to 300, there are always people in line for the escalator. How many people are in line at times t equals 300? So uh, we started with 20 people. We added 270 people by the end. But how many people um, were, were you know coming out of the line uh, at 0.7 per second? And it was 300 seconds. So that's how many people were like leaving the line. So you just got to do the sum of those two. 20 plus 270 minus 0 0.7 times 300 it's equal to 80 80 people all right c for t greater than 300 what is the first time t that there are no people in line for the escalator uh well so at the end we have 80 people right we've decided at the end we have 80 people the first time, so then I'm going to subtract 0.7 per second until I get to zero. So um, I just need to solve for t. So t is equal to 80 divided by 0.7. Sorry. Okay, 114.3 seconds. Okay, D for zero less than or equal to T less than or equal to 300, at what time T is the number of people in line in a minimum? Um, so the number of people at any given time, let's just write out the, the um, it's the integral of R of T minus 0 0.7 DT. It's the rate, it's the rate they're entering minus the rate they're leaving. Um, I should use a different letter, but that's fine. Uh, plus, uh, it started out with 20 people. So I want to know where the, the, the minimum number of people is. Well, the minimum occurs when the first derivative is equal to 0. And the first derivative is the derivative of this. And that happens by, by fundamental theorem of calculus. The derivative of this whole thing is just r of t minus 0. 0.7. That happens. So these are my critical points. When r of t is equal to 0. 0.7 is my critical point. So the way I do that is um, I'm going to plot r of t minus 0.7. x divided by 100. Ah, oh, jeez. 
cubed, 1 minus x divided by 300, 7, and then minus uh, 0.7. So this is not useful because the window's way too way too way too zoomed in. I need to definitely go zero to three hundred. And I'll go to like zero to like uh, I don't know, like a hundred. Oops. Uh, ten. Zero. Windows way messed up. It's not zoomed in enough. So what's oh the rate? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it just only goes up to like ten. Let's make the y's log go to negative a little bit. So I'm gonna make this go up to five and negative five. Yeah, there we go. There we are. Okay. And that's all the intervals. So I need to know when, when this is equal to zero, right? So I want to calculate the zeros. We'll do the far right one here. Left and right bound and then guess. So we have here T is equal to 166.57. And we also have another zero at there to there and the other one is t is equal to 33.01 now i want to find the minimum here so minimums occur when the slopes are negative to positive okay so you could you could you could just so wh when does that happen? Well, the derivative here goes from negative to positive. So this one is a relative min, and this is a relative max. Okay, so t equals thirty three point one is the location I want to look at. But if I want the absolute minimum, you you have to check all the relative mins and you have to check the endpoints. So I I need to create a table here. I need to calculate um, the amount of people at time zero at the minimum. And at 300, because these are the endpoints. Zero and 300 are the endpoints of the interval. Well, I know we started off with 20 people. The second part is to do the calculation, this calculate, this integral calculation, but plugging in 33.01. So here we do math nine. We do the uh, the rate, which is 44 uh, x divided by 100 cubed. Then 1 minus x divided by 300 to the 7th. Then I have to subtract 0.7. Some people are leaving the line. Integrate over x from 0 to 33.01. Jeez, why is this happening? How do I have negative people? Feel like uh, I don't know why this would matter, but I'm gonna double check if this matters. Nope. Oh, I gotta add twenty to this. Ha ha ha! That's my problem. So three point eight people here, and at three hundred we decided there were eighty people. Okay, so this is the minimum. Minimum, at what time t is the minimum number of people? So t is minimum. Nearest whole number, find the number of people. So t is equal to 33.01, and the number of people was four people. OK. Let's take a look at the solutions. Uh, 270, uh, 80, 414.286. Oh, you know, I needed to add 300. <laughs> 
So here I calculated this t correctly, but um, in part c, this is the time after 300 seconds, so I need to add 300 here. Let me write that in red. So I didn't answer that correctly, so this would have been 404.3 seconds. And that's that's what we would have gotten. And then the total number, uh, they actually checked, if you note here, they actually checked the, um, they, they found both numbers, but they checked this one, even though this is a relative max. So the minimum number they, they conclude is that. So hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.